God sends men and women to us to connect us to his blessings. Welcome to today's DDRX. The prescription is say a blessing. There are some responsibility that heaven requires from us in order for these blessings to align. And our anchoring scripture is Psalm 107 verse 2. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he has redeemed from the hand of the enemy. We have to proclaim the blessings. We have to declare them before God can confirm them. And every blessing must be in line with the scripture. So today I want to look at uh, some of the prerequisites. Honor precedes blessing. God sends men and women to us to connect us to his blessings. Some we don't choose by ourselves. For example, our parents, our teachers, even some of our leaders, we don't choose them. But we have to honor them in order to receive the full blessings. In Mark 6, 4 to 5, But Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honor, except in his own country, among his own relatives, and in his own house. Now he could do no mighty work there, except that he laid his hands on a few sick and healed them. Do you know, Jesus was restrained in his own country. They could not honor him. They were too familiar with them. So we need to recognize the authority God has set over us. And we need to obey them. And often, God will send us what we need in a package we don't want. So honor is the key to receiving blessings from heaven. In Mark 14, the Bible talks about the woman with a alabaster box who brought expensive perfume and poured upon the head of Jesus. That woman was blessed. Jesus even blessed the woman. A good and beautiful act of honor. Jesus said will be lauded everywhere the gospel will reach. Not only in their time period, but from generation to generations forevermore. So we need to learn to honor people God place over us. Even as you say the blessings, as the blessings are hanging on you, you need to activate them through honor. May the Lord bless you. Amen.